Please, I'd be delighted to hear your question. I, I just have a very brief comment which I'd like to get you to respond to. Um, one of the things that I've learned from listening to you is that uh, at the core of a lot of our problems globally is this obsession we have with groupthink and mm -hmm. rigid, divisive ideologies, whether they're social or religious. But what confuses me about your commentary is how, on the one hand, you uphold the virtues of critical thinking and rationality, mm -hmm. and you apply this quite rightly in your criticism of Islam as being a mm -hmm. unique threat, and you go also go after these social justice lunatics that exist in society, mm -hmm. but at the same time you embrace this equally ridiculous ideology that says a supernatural being wrote the Bible. <laughs> um, now, I, I, I don't think any of us are capable of being perfectly rational, but mm. um, it seems to me you can't have it both ways. Either you apply the principles of reason generally across the board, or you apply them selectively and suspend them selectively in the uh, presence of your no, I, understand, I understand the question, but there's an error in the there's an error in your assumption that Christianity um, cannot be arrived at uh, as a product of reason. And there's a suggestion buried in there that Christianity is somehow hostile to or incompatible with reason. The, pro the you know, science as an as a system of inquiry was produced by religion. It was Catholicism, it was Christianity that, pr that prompted man to look around at the world and say this marvelous, beautiful creation of the Lord is something that God did, so it must be worth us taking a look and seeing how it works. And, you know, Christianity gave birth to modernity. Christianity and capitalism have existed in intricate symbiosis. You know, capitalism would not be possible without the Protestant work ethic. There are people ten times as smart as you and I combined uh, scientists, many of whom in later life come to Christianity. You'll notice there's a trend of biologists in particular who have spent 30 years in the field who find God in their 50s. Um, there are people, you know, 10 times intelligent as you and I combined, um, who would say there is, is simply no justification for putting fact, logic, and reason over here and religion here. I make specific criticisms of Islam because I have studied it as a belief system and found it to be poisonous and defective. I think it is incapable of adaptation, incapable of uh, engaging with modernity. It hasn't experienced its own enlightenment. Um, therefore, it cannot engage with democracy, capitalism, or the West in general. And until it does, it simply shouldn't be here because it isn't compatible with our way of life. Uh, I don't expect, I'm not, I'm not in the course of this answer going to persuade you that there's a God, but all I will tell you is that there is a perfectly respectable philosophical um, history of, uh, you know, of, of religion being entirely compatible with, with reason and scientific inquiry. Indeed, it gave birth to both of them. So... <laughs> it's never going to be a completely... There's a bridge between the two of us that we are not going to cross, and that's okay. Um, but I do want you to be careful about not falling into the kind of trap that the left does, saying, oh, well, how can you be gay and a Catholic? Um, which just betrays utter ignorance of both what homosexuality and Catholicism are. Uh, the you know, just, Catholic Church has been, has been a home for gay people forever. You know, it's normally based on this assumption that Catholics are homophobic or whatever. Um, at a time when the state was murdering homosexuals, the Catholic Church was welcoming them in and sheltering them as priests and giving them a chance to be something in the community and not be ostracized or murdered or discriminated against. The trade-off was you couldn't get married, but you know, the Catholic Church was providing some, uh, providing homosexuals not just with sanctuary, but with a, with a function, an important function in civilization. Um, you know, and, and it, it, these kinds of questions come from, I, I, I get how badly, you know, educated people are these days, but they come from this assumption that there's something incompatible between faith and reason, and, and no ser serious theologian would say so, and I would not say so.